Imagine a magnetic wand that could control your brain. To find out if such a thing could actually work, I offered my own brain for a test. It seemed like fun at the time. Hold it up, you can look at it. Psychiatrist and neurologist Mark George said he could make my thumb twitch. Jeez, it does. Oh, that was nice. Using a map of the brain, he can zap the area that controls a specific body part, like my toe. Oh, wow. Was that my stroke a little too much? Uh, a little bit, yeah, it's a little much. One, two, three, four. The wand can even affect someone's speech. And uh, that then to our 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And once the pulse is removed, 25, 26, everything goes back to normal. 29, 30. It's sort of a remarkable thing that one can put something over somebody's head and modify the way they behave. Wow. The wand works by producing a powerful magnetic pulse. So it doesn't look like a lot, but the magnetic field that it generates is about the strength of an MRI machine, of a very strong MRI machine. Since electricity and magnetism are really just two forms of the same thing, a magnet can affect the electrical signals in your brain. Now this is your brain. It's basically an electric web of billions of neurons wired together. When a strong magnetic pulse hits these neurons, it alters their electric current. The process is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. Electricity is the currency of the brain. All thoughts, all beliefs, all actions are just electrical impulses. And so TMS, we're actually able to get in there and influence the currency of the brain focally and non-invasively. The stronger the magnetic pulse, the deeper into the brain it goes. And by adjusting the pattern of the pulse, you can change the way that part of the brain functions. We can turn a part of the brain up or down or temporarily turn it off. It doesn't take a genius to see that it should be a pretty fertile way to begin to understand how the brain works.